Hey guys, it's Trent Hewitt coming at you with Midwestern Outdoor Boys. So we're gonna go over a polymer knot and how to tie that. So a few tips that I can help you out and to make sure you have a better knot that's not uh, weak. So what most people do is they'll make this loop real quick and then they'll try and feed this loop that you just made by pinching this off and trying to feed it through the eye of the hook. In doing so, you're weakening your line by making a crease in your line right there. So instead, what you can do is you take your eye of your hook, feed it through once, just like that, and then you just come back through it. And you want to make sure you give yourself plenty of slack because this requires, depending on the size lure you're using, you're going to want enough slack to go over the last uh, loop knot that we'll make that will go real quick. So once you have this, then what you're going to do is you're gonna do an overhand knot. So you're gonna make another loop with all the lines, just like that. And you're gonna take that loop and put it through. And then you're gonna pull it semi-tight to your bout right there. And then you're gonna take this loop right here and you're gonna feed it through the hook, just like that. And then you're gonna pull it semi-tight about right there. And you don't wanna make sure that this line doesn't get caught right between that crease of your hook. Otherwise that'll create a weak spot there and it can cut your line. So you wanna make sure it's up above here. And then at, when you get to about this point, you're gonna to wanna to give it a little lick, wet it down. So that way you don't create friction when you're pulling that knot tight. And then like I said before, you just wanna make sure that it's not in that little crevice right here when you're pulling it tight. And then you're gonna sit you down, pull it tight, and that's how you do the polymer knot. It's very strong, will never break on you. So there you have it. That's one way how you can tie the polymer knot. And then all you do is take your tag end here, and then you just wanna clip that off as tight as you can get it. Do a little better than that. There you go. And that is how you do the polymer knot without putting any creases in your line doing that first loop. So there you have it. Thanks for watching.